What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today is gonna be deadlifts and it's gonna be a lot of mother effing fitness. We got your boy Solid Mike right here hitting 315 pounds for shrugs. As you can see, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. That's the future right there. See, Mike does sumo, which is cheating. He also uses straps because he has no grip strength at all. So, dude, he, dude, he says now what he does. But we're working up to 555 pounds for about four to six sets of dos. That's two in Spanish. And um, who does shrugs just, anymore, man? This guy's been making you cringe on a daily basis. Ugh, 315 pounds. This is the last set that I do before I put on a belt. I always put on the belt at 405. And throughout this video, we're gonna give you some tips, some tips, and some tricks on the deadlift by your boy Mike over here. We're gonna give you some thoughts. A lot of fitness in this video. This whole damn video might be fitness, but you know what? It's a fitness channel. Can you tell? All right, we're going into 405. Here is tip number one. Numero uno. Light, flashy, I'm gonna, bang, look at boom. That's too much editing, man. Well, Michael Bay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add all that in. Yeah, Bumblebee. <laughs> all right, tip number one. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Max, super explosive, super strong, already has a strong back, strong grip, everything good, uh, but he's making it harder on himself because the bar's about an inch away from the shins. So, he kind of starts on his shins, uh, and then he's so explosive, it pulls, floats away, and then he'll get back around the quad. What we're gonna try to do is have contact through the entire thing. Uh, so hit me from the side, cameraman. Oh, oh, oh. Side, cameraman. Other side, front side, back side. So you kind of get a motion like this. We're in contact. Then he's so explosive, he gets a little gap, and then he'll make contact again. What I need you to do is uh, pull that bitch in you, scrape your shin. I want bloody tight. Bloody tights, big difference. A big thing, I used to, you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, I used to wear like knee sleeves. Yeah. I used to wear those and I'd always cut my shins up. I wear shins for the, uh, like sleeves for that reason because uh, mentally like a human doesn't want to pull metal into their bone. Like yeah. it's not natural. So uh, I don't bleed that bad, but I wear these just to almost tell myself like pull this bitch in me. Yeah, so you want to get as close as possible because obviously if, if I'm having the bar go out, you're going to be leaning over the bar, it's going to be not advantageous for you and you're going to, it's going to make it harder for yourself. Yeah. And Make weight, it easier for yourself. And the weight's light, uh, so it's 315, it probably felt like nothing, but we want to engrave that pattern over, 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 over. Beat it, beat it, beat it, eh, try, eh, try. Movie? Work smarter, not harder. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, I think it's a uh, road trip. Okay. Yeah. He said, bring it to the, <laughs> the car, bring it through the car wash, eh, try, eh. So one thing I love about being out here, being a barbell brigade, is just the environment. I, I've said it many times when I come here, but if you can get to a gym that has Especially if you're like a power lifter, like going to a commercial gym and trying to lift heavy ass weight when they're playing Taylor Swift. Although I love her and she's my celebrity crush and slide in my DMs. You know, it's not going to get you hype and people out there just who are not, aren't lifting the same style and the same kind of like focus that you are. It's hard to kind of push yourself. You come to an environment like this, you come to District Barbello, something along that lines. You train with strong, people that are stronger than you. It's going to motivate you to push yourself. Right, question how come you are an advocate of slowly lowering the weight on the deadlift yeah so I talked to Max as soon as he started uh, and since we only had about eight weeks uh, I didn't want to change too much right because he's not injured it doesn't hurt basically I go slow eccentric because often what will happen is one an eccentric the weight down on any lift can build more muscle uh, two controlling a weight in my opinion is always better than just letting the weight control you and with my style of training which we talked about in the other video kind of sub maximal we're using 60 to 75 percent majority of the time better get like more bang for your buck more work with less if you do three uh sets or three reps and you're touching going you're banging on the ground you're getting like whatever this much work whereas i'm controlling the entire thing i get more work and i think it looks fucking dope oh yeah <laughs> okay we're moving into the first set of 555 pounds to be honest the bar speed's been moving a little bit slow and when the bar bar speed moves slow on a deadlift it sometimes can get in my head and I'm a huge advocate I always tell you guys to not you know push everything out and focus on the lift and you have the strength but it definitely can mess with you and it kind of throw you off so I'm gonna try to get back in the zone I think we're gonna throw on some music that I'm used to and we're gonna crush this 555 for doubles I think 
What goes through your head on the, uh, for the first set? Nothing really. Nothing? Yeah, I think uh, 135. I'm really thinking about how tight I can get in here, trying to hips to shoulders. That's kind of squat and deadlift. As tight as you can control hips and shoulders, try to squeeze my back as tight as I can, kind of that old school lap pull down, uh, and then just kind of flex. I think about pushing the ground away from me, and that works pretty good for sumo. Uh, it works really good for sumo, pretty good with conventional as well. Hold in your shins hard, hold in your body. In my head, guys, like this workout going into it, I thought I was gonna crush it. Like, all my sessions have been doing really, really well, especially on deadlifts and even this week. It all takes like one shitty set, mess up all of it. Now we're having to tweak it. it sucks. Oh, yeah, coach cam. Coach cam. <laughs> what Maximilian is feeling is very common for most athletes, but I feel like as a coach, uh, Max is in this world of I pulled 600, I'm a, I want to pull 630, all this. So those are the numbers he's thinking about down here. Uh, and I'm like Zeus on the mountain, looking down on young Maximilian and his strength. And what he doesn't realize is one, he's been traveling. Two, his week's been condensed. So uh, he squatted 435 for a bunch of doubles, PR. And then he benched 280 for a bunch of doubles, another PR. And they're like, oh, but his pecs and his deadlift have nothing. Stress is stress, so his body is already under new stimulus and new load that he's not used to. Um, plus, I mean, if you're trying to deadlift and you have a man dime just staring you dead in the eyes, that's true. You that's get fucking true. confused, man, and he doesn't know what to do. And so, like, the bar slips from his hand and he wants to jump in my arms, and all these weird things happen. It's like new emotions, but he'll get through it. So instead, we were supposed to do about four doubles. He smashed one double, two singles. We'll get two more fast singles, recoup, have him go eat some pizza, hit it harder next week. Yeah, what he said, dude. So I wish I could show you guys like the absolute perfect prep. I wish I hit every single number, and I, obviously I wish that when I go to the meet, I completely smash the R's. But I'm trying to, you know, not not try to hide when I do have a crappy workout. So you know, these things happen. Don't let it try to affect you too much. It's you know, me being like two weeks out, like it, it'll definitely get in my head. I'm like, oh crap, like I'm two weeks out. If I can only do. 555 for barely a double and a bunch of singles. Like, how am I gonna hit a BR? Hit a BR, right? So, take a step back, get your mental game back on track, and just keep on moving forward, guys. So, tell me your thoughts on why. Like, a lot of people get pissed off that I grip and rip. Oh, yeah. And so, why don't you tell the people why it's, it's a bad thing that, to grip and rip. And like, so there's a, a rare- I know it's bad. Like, there's a rare few uh, that can get away with things and it doesn't mean it's right. Um, if you grow up playing basketball, it doesn't mean you should do what Michael Jordan's doing. He's up here. You're already a pretty advanced lifter. You got a lot of musculature in your back. And number two, you're made to kind of deadlift. You have a pretty small torso, uh, short, pretty long arms, and pretty long uh, legs. So. Basically, the hinge that you have to hinge on is a lot less. Where my torso, like even look, like just sit up straight. I'm like taller than you, right? Yeah. Look how much taller I am than him. But when we stand, you might even have an inch on me. Uh, so I have to get in a more upright, straighter back form because the hinge or the lever on my back is a lot bigger, more pressure on the bottom. It's kind of like uh, if you do a shoveling and you're using the tip of the thing, or if you grab the front, you're basically up here. So it's easy. I'm back here, uh, and there's people worse than me, and it's a spectrum. Uh, so for him to grip and rip, not the worst thing in the world. Um, probably not optimal for him either, uh, but he's more likely to be able to get away with it than you guys. Plus, in his off season, we're gonna fix that with the eccentric, slow uh, descent deadlift. I, but I love slamming the weight down, man. 
But you're gonna love that ass you're gonna grow. And so will they. And I've told, I've to, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel, but after this competition, I'm going back to sumo. I'm, I'm retiring conventional after gone. this meet. He's out there. All legitimacy on this channel, gone. Yeah. I'm gonna hit a PR at this meet, and then after that, I'm going back to sumo. Retired. Do your thing. Yeah. So, we're gonna get to this final set. One or set of one rep, one single. We're the best make... one. The best one. Last set, best set. Best set. Last one, dude, and we're done. This stupid movement. I said I love those, I hate it. The last one. Oh. Nice to grab hold of you. Drive to the ground. See the close. Good. Set. So Mike is heading out. It's been really good training with him, getting a lot of uh, tips and alterations to my lifting, and just you know putting a face to the coaching services. We're just text buddies. Yeah, exactly. Now we're real friends. Yeah, and so I've, I've had a really, really good time. And uh, as a quick sign off, since this video has been focused a lot around you know tips and you know lifting mainly. Yeah. Um, people just want to get strong. Like, like, what's your biggest overall like? Like, I'm, I want to get strong. I don't really know the path to take. Like, biggest just overall advice. Probably number one is it's so cliche, but technique. And then taking a step backwards. Uh, for you to get strong, it's not gonna happen today, tomorrow, next week. It's gonna happen six months, year, six months, year. So uh, lifting too heavy too often is what most people do. Build your strength, they'll test your strength. These are all things that people throw around, but basically what they're saying is stop just going to the gym, hitting a one rep max, and trying to hit a heavier one rep max. Max and I have been there, yeah. <laughs> and, and injury comes and plateaus come. Uh, so you're better off just taking a couple steps back, hitting some rep PRs, hitting some volume PRs. Max was stoked on his bench yesterday because yeah. it's, it's a volume PR and it does feel good. You're like, damn, this is pretty heavy for me, and I'm doing it for a bunch of doubles. Like, uh, once you understand the scope of things, kind of the long game, I think you can get just as much uh, satisfaction uh, from doing uh, volume PRs and rep PRs. And definitely, like what he was saying, uh, you know, strength over time is because, like, eventually, no matter who you are you're gonna get to a point where you cannot physically lift any more weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, ne you're never gonna indefinitely get stronger. So what I've, a big thing I've always said in my channel is like, why would you wanna reach that plateau like sooner, right? So if you, if you test strength too often, you're just gonna be keep hitting these walls, these walls. So, you know, I'm, I space out, like I'm stoked that I'm hitting five PRs, like, or five pound PRs on my deadlift, yeah. like once a year. May not seem like a lot, but I'm like, if I can hit a five pound PR once a year for the next X amount of years, like I'm stoked by that. So don't always think you're gonna be smashing 20, 30, 40 pound PRs when you get to a certain point, because like, you know, it's the law of diminishing return. Like the longer you lift, the less results you're gonna get, the, the, the less strength gains you're gonna achieve. Yeah, the stronger you are, the harder it gets. Exactly, just weight just keeps getting heavier. It's like yeah. these feels, you know? Yeah. So shout out Mike. I hope you guys enjoyed having him on the channel. Um, Maybe I'll see you in DC. Yeah, definitely come out. So all of his information down below, training program down below if you guys are interested in hopping on something like that. That's gonna be strength focused. And we are two weeks out from the meet. Go time, buddy. Woo, 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 woo. So I'm gonna head back home before there's crazy amounts of traffic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit different than my normal stuff. Didn't vlog, didn't put a lot of crazy like edits in there. And these types of videos, just straight in the gym, like the reason I don't always make them, even though I'm a fitness channel, is because it's almost like boring to me to film because I like being creative and I like going out and doing a lot of different things. And I almost worry that the people that follow my channel for the vlog part won't care about the fitness and won't want to watch. And like I overthink it too much and at the end of the day, hopefully just whatever content I put out, you guys will enjoy. So let me know if you like this style of video that every now and then I can just do a completely 100% fitness focused and you know, you'll still come back and smash that thumbs up button so that before this battery dies, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna keep on this programming. The power to meet is two weeks away. We're gonna hopefully crush it. Had a crappy session today, but we're gonna keep the mind right, keep a positive attitude, and get in there and try to give 110%, dude. Thank you, ever forward, guys. Peace!